Okay, so you're a new user to HubSpot and you're excited about do using the platform. Well, here's one of the first things that you need to do to really maximize and get the benefits from HubSpot. And that is connecting HubSpot to your email so that you'll now be able to track and send all of your sales related activities, all of the activities that relates to your emails and the interaction and engagement with your customers through your CRM. Now the extension or the application that you need to download is the HubSpot sales. In this example, I'll be showing you the example for Gmail, but of course you do have that HubSpot sales extension is also available for Office 365, for Gmail and for Outlook. And specifically for Outlook of a specific version. I'll leave the information about the version in the details below, all right? So let me show you how do you go about getting the extension on into your Gmail interface. So once you have your HubSpot account, the area that you're gonna be going to is of course, you're gonna go across to your right and you're gonna look for more tools and then you're gonna look for extensions. When you do get the extensions uh, page coming up, um, you will then have to go across to your far left because the extent this here would represent the extensions that you already have so you're looking for those new extensions you're going to go across excuse me you're going to go across to your right left and you're going to look for open chrome web store and here from here is where you're going to be typing in what that new extension is so in this instance we're looking for hubspot that's not spelled right there we go Right, and we're looking for the HubSpot sales extension. Now you can click on it. Now for the sake of this example, I'm just gonna click on it so you guys would know. So what it does, it's gonna be able to give you an overview as to what the extension is gonna be doing, how it's gonna be connecting and interfacing um, with your Gmail. Uh, so from here you go to add to Chrome. All right, now once, once that is done, that is gonna really fall into this particular space here. Once it's done, it's gonna say add extension. So it's, you're giving it the permission to do that. And when that is done, this will now change to say remove from Chrome. So then that means that it's actually added. Now, if you will notice to the side that we already saw, we actually just saw where the HubSpot extension was now embedded within this with this particular space. When you go across to your Gmail, your Gmail will automatically refresh. And with that refresh, what will happen is that your interface will have now have two new things that's showing up on it. All right. One will definitely be where you can now see the extension slide out from on the right hand side of your screen. And that will carry once you log in, you will show it will connect to all of your accounts, all of your it will connect that to that specific HubSpot account. And then it will show all of your uh, customers. So we are seeing one indication that how the HubSpot sales extension is connected is this here. And once it slides out from the left, you will see all of your customers. So if I'm looking for a customer, right? I can see all the customers that carries that particular name. If I'm looking for another customer, if I'm looking for Lyndon, right? I'll see all the Lyndon Braffords that I have there as well. And this interface is you have the connection to your tasks, you have the connection to your contacts. And of course this here is just a breakdown as to which account you are connected to, all right? So that's how you connect your HubSpot sales extension to your Gmail. And the, the same thing applies for your Outlook and for your Office 365. It's just, of course, the way that it sits within your interface is a little bit different. But once you have that, your ability to start properly HubSpotting is second to none. How simple and cool was that? And now that you are set, you have the ability of not tracking all of your information, understanding your customer's behavior, looking at your sales activities or your sales team's activities because it now all feeds straight into your CRM. There's no more ambiguity or guessing as to who is responsible for what or who responded to what. Pretty cool stuff, pretty powerful extension, makes your life a lot easier. That's why we all love using our HubSpot CRM platform. All right, guys, take care. Catch you on the next video. Peace.